Building code is a critical aspect of software development. Your choice of build system can determine how productive you and your team will be on any particular project. If you are a solo developer or working on a small team, then a build system, say built into Xcode, will be just fine for your purposes. But as your team scales from a handful of developers to a hundred developers, and your code base expands from hundreds to thousands to millions of lines of code, you'll need a build system that won't bottleneck your team. Rather, you'll need a build system that scales with your team. This means a build system that works better and faster the more people who use it. Think of it as a highway that gets faster with more cars and is blazing fast during peak usage. Google invented such a build system and called it Blaze. Blaze became the standard tool for compiling all of Google's code. This meant it needed to support a multitude of different languages while also providing consistent build results. Using such a build system enabled Google to put all of their code, that is millions upon millions of lines of code, into a single, albeit massive, monorepo, with Blaze being the key to unlock the thousands and thousands of build targets. Blaze was such a success that Google decided to share it with the rest of the world, with the exception of some proprietary components. Blaze thereby became Bazel, and it was released to the public in 2015. By default, Bazel supports a few programming languages out of the box. For example, it supports Java, which is the source language of Bazel, C, C++, Objective-C, and Python. To use other languages, you incorporate community-supported rules, and of course, if you are using a custom language or an unsupported one, you can always write your custom rule set. If you have a compiler and need a build system, Bazel can be extended to support it. Bazel classifies itself as an artifact-based build system. The Bazel documentation breaks this down really nicely. When you first start writing code, you typically call the compiler via the command line. But as your application grows, this approach isn't very sustainable, so you may switch to shell scripts. While shell scripts provide greater flexibility than just the command line, the build process becomes dependent on the system settings. It requires each builder to have the same exact configuration or the build will fail. Scripts will build everything from scratch each time you build a project. So this requires you to create a caching mechanism. Thus, you move to a task-based build system like Gradle or Maven. These systems break down each step of the build process as a task and then runs those tasks based on dependencies. While they get the job done, the build system tends to favor an imperative task-based design where developers can dictate each step of the build process. Because of this, the build system doesn't understand the necessary order of compilation, i.e. whether a task can be built concurrently, thus wasting processing power. Bazel is an artifact-based build system. In this system, developers define the tasks, but Bazel defines how those tasks will be built. This means our targets are written in a declarative manner. By analyzing all the various components of a build, Bazel can optimize the build process. If nothing was previously changed, Bazel will not rebuild. Better still, it will analyze all the various inputs of all the running tasks. If there isn't a dependency from previous tasks, then Bazel will run build targets in parallel. This build can expand to other developer machines, creating a distributed build network. In fact, Bazel even leverages remote building, which you'll discover later in this course. In this regard, you can classify Bazel as a functional or deterministic build system. That is, when you provide the same inputs, the build system will always produce the same output. This requires some more bookkeeping on our parts as developers, but it ensures reliability in our builds. This means you'll never end up with a breaking build because a third-party dependency changed without you being aware of it. When you create a target that is compiled using a specific JDK or, say, a different compiler, that build will always use that version of the JDK or compiler, no matter who is building it. So Bazel is a great tool for large development teams, but it's not ideal for all situations. For instance, if you are part of a small team, then Bazel may take too much developer time as opposed to just using something like Xcode. Bazel requires a bit of knowledge investment. 
you'll need to know how to configure your builds for Bazel. Also, Bazel requires a lot of dependency management. But remember, all this comes with the benefit of blazing fast build speeds that can be distributed through your whole developer network. So as you can see, for some developers, these cons may be a roadblock, whereas others may view them as slight irritations, with the benefit being less time waiting for the code to compile and more time writing code.